Doing Astroth. So this is gonna be a fun little bit. I don't know anything about Astroth, so I'm just gonna kind of BS my way through this match because I know a lot about Sung Mina, but Astroth is a uh, still kind of a new new thing to me. So we're gonna see what happens. I could tell you some basic stuff about him, but I have almost no understanding about what this character does. I will okay. So this is gonna be an interesting match. Both characters have really long pokes and normals. Okay, goes tip range, he goes for the long range. 6-6-A. Six, six, nice. Ooh, goes for the just frame grab to try and like go for the setup after the ground throw. So, ooh. Assume he's gonna go for the duck. Nice. Does it again? Goes for the duck. Duck. Thought he was gonna duck. Ooh, he's dead. Wow, that low is very powerful. Very powerful low. Because something has access to. It. Nice. He went, tried to go for the tip rage combo. Trying like set something up. Armored command grab. This is so good. Trying to set up, I feel like uh, Drunk Missile is trying to set up a lot more command grab. Trying to like keep uh, Razzmuth Poof off balance, but like Razzmuth Poof is just very aware of what he's doing. Gets, but apparently gets hit by the one grab. Nice, gets hit by by the nice check of uh, just AA. Just from single A. Nice. Ooh. Gets hit by the AAA string. Gets hit by reversal edge. Oh yeah, he predicted that he was going to go for uh, B. Wow, that was an incredibly fast match. I wasn't expecting it. But yeah, in that scenario, you must o you should always try doing K regardless of the situation because Astroth does not have a convincing uh, option. And if he gets reversal edge B, he will uh, wall splat you or ring you out. So. Rather than Foo read that direction perfectly and knew just how to and just went for that read. And because of that, uh, uh, Drunk uh, made the read that he would do it so he didn't get to beat out the Universal Edge. Uh, okay. Nice. Okay, reading the sidestep and just trying to control that position. Yeah, right now, oh, sidestep into sidestep. Uh, up up A plus uh two two A plus B. I mean eight eight A plus B. Nice. The grab. Side switches into the grab. Mix up. Nice. B B into A A. Switches into the command grab. Armored command grab. Nice. Because Punnett gets the GI. Goes into the armored command grab again. Nice. Goes for the 3A. Goes for the JI to beat that. That doesn't land it quite well. Notice that he's just staying there. So, oh my god, that damage. So, Drunk has started to realize that Arazi is trying to is stepping him a lot and trying to control his movement. So now he's just using a lot of like. Or, uh, horizontal moves to just control the pace of here because he knows that if he can just like keep Rasmufu sitting in one spot he can start opening him up with these grabs and as shown here he just keeps beating it but Rasmufu just keeps resetting this neutral and now it's like how are you going to stop that goes for the GI goes for the again the armor commander Rasmufu just does not duck that oh god what he ducked it because the A plus B actually had... Oh my god. He's not dead. Oh, he might, oh, he might have been dead. Oh! Gets hit again and lands the armored command grab again. Wow. Sees the unblockable, just says, oh, he's not going to react to this grab, that slow armored grab. I'm going to walk forward and slam him into the ground like that. Show him who's boss. Nice. Wants to go for the mix-up here, so goes for the high grab. Nice. Nice. Gets him in the back. Gets goes for the low, but no punish. Probably because Astro can't punish it. Goes for the GI. He's definitely really trying to like understand the movement options. And he's just like 
Nice. Goes for A, A. Nice GI. Lands with the armor command grab again and gets hit. Wow. <laughs> wow, into the pile driver. Oh my god, second pile driver. What's he gonna do now? Sees it and just goes for a. Oh, it just fucking goes for the smash. Oh my god. Wow. Drunk is just like tearing apart Rasmufoop now that he's conditioned him. He just. So, he does not want to step. As I say that, he steps to the left and gets lands in the back of Astaroth. He's, he's starting conditioning. Nice. Gets him into the grab mix-up. Slams him into the ground. Goes for the stomp, but gets sidestep. Yeah, Razzlefoo is just kind of starting back to sidestep because he's noticing. He's, okay. Yes. Oh, BBB. He gets hit by the BBB's mid-string. Oh my god, that damage. Just from a single launch, probably could have gotten more. Oh my god, into another grab. So, he's gonna go for the low. He, like, Rasmufu really likes this low. He knows that... Wow. Ducks the full strength. Oh my god. Nice! Oh my god. Whoa! Whoa, he thought went for the hardest read, but he just kept stepping. It just didn't catch it. Wow. Created. Wow, that whole match was just Rodma Foof stepping Astroth's command grabs and just condition. Trying to stop. Uh, just trying to stop Drunk from like gaining any position. It was just devastating. Drunk, do you want to join me in this commentary booth? Okay, got it. I need another commentator, so anything will be helpful here. So as we can see, guys, Song Mina is clearly top tier by the fact that she has beaten two characters on day zero. Clearly top tier. Top tier material.